Lillibird thought to himself, Hmm, my favorite little tree isn't such a little tree anymore. So she sang her song big and strong, and they all lived in that great big tree happily ever after. The end. Applejack! Were you reading a bedtime story to an apple tree? Huh. <laughs> uh, well... You know, being replanted in a whole new place is very upsetting for a tree. And Bloomberg here is one of my favorites. No fair, Applejack. You've got a luxurious private sleeper car for a tree, while I am crowded and crammed in the same car with all the other ponies. How am I supposed to get my beauty sleep? But Bloomberg's the whole reason we're making this trip. He needs his rest so we can give him as a gift to my relatives in Appaloosa. Hmm. You talk about it as if it's your baby or something. Who are you calling a baby? Bloomberg's no baby. Don't whip with a word and make you all shady wetty. Bloomberg's a big and strong apple tree. Yes, he is. A goochie goochie goo goo goo. It's Whittle Rarity who's all shady whitey. My little pony, my little pony. Ah. To wonder what friendship could be Until you all shared its magic with me Big adventure Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have my Do you know you're all my very best friends? Okay, fine. Good night. Uh, maybe it's time we all got a little shut eye. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Fluttershy. Fluttershy's not a tree, silly. What's going on? Rainbow Dash thinks Fluttershy's a tree. I do not think she's a tree. I was Did just... Did you say she was a tree? No. Well, yes, but not exactly. You know, she's not a tree, right? Well, she's not a tree, Dashy. I'd like to be a tree. Oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Well, that was kind of Huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Could you all be quiet now? <gasps> Bloomberg? Bloomberg! <sighs> Sorry, I tend to snore a bit. Good night. <sighs> Tricks! <laughs> 
circus act. Hey there, where are you heading in such a hurry? Wow, you're pretty quick for someone so bulky. No offense. Napping Spike. I'll show her. <laughs> hey there. Welcome to Appaloosa. Brayburn, listen. Hey, cousin Applejack, mind your manners. You have yet to introduce me to your compadres. Shame on you. Brayburn, listen. Something terrible's happened. Terrible is right. Your train is a full seven minutes late. That's seven minutes less for you to delight in the pleasures and wonders of Appaloosa. <laughs> Boggles the mind. We settler ponies built all this in just the past year, don't it? And as you can see, we have all of the finest comforts, like horse-drawn carriages. Okay, you pull now. Ah, we just switched. And those there are horse-drawn, horse-drawn carriages. Listen, Brayburn, I... <laughs> and here's our local watering hole, the salt block. That's enough salt for you! Can't I at least get a glass of water? Oh, there's the office of Sheriff Silverstar. And here's where we have our Wild West dances. And here's where we have our Mild West dances. But Brayburn, we... And here's the most wonderful sight in all of Appaloosa. Our apple orchard. Brayburn. First harvest should be any day now. Brayburn. Good thing, too. Bray... Because we need that grub to live on. Brayburn! Uh, yes, cuz? You have a very nice town and all, but we have a huge problem. Some of our friends are missing. A stampede of buffalo. They took Spike! Rainbow Dash went after them. And we can't find Pinkie Pie. And we had an apple tree with us for your orchard, but they took that too. Did you say buffalo? Ah. <sighs> them buffalo, they want us settler ponies to take every single tree you see here off this land. They sure as hey don't want any new ones added in. But why? Beats me. We put a lot of hard work into this land so we could feed our town, our families, our foes. And now they're saying all these trees have to go? It ain't fair. Oh, I can't wait to get my hose on that little buffalo. Huh? Ow! Nobody tricks Rainbow Dash and gets away with it. Boo! Yeah! Pinkie Pie? Ah, you caught me. Looks like I tricked you and didn't get away with it either. You're good. Shh! What do you think you're doing? You gotta get out of here. I do? You're gonna pull my cover. I am? I'm trying to save Spike. Oh my gosh, so am I! And the more of us there are out here, the more chances of us getting... caught. Run, Pinkie. I'll hold him off. Save yourself! Stop! Dash, Pinky, sup? Hey, no worries, I know those guys. They're cool. You say so, Spike. Catch you later, bro. Seems they took me by mistake. They feel awful about it too, poor guys. Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. Still don't like ponies much though, but they're with me, so it's cool. Huh. Well, I still don't trust him. I say we turn tail and bail while we still... Before we finish eating, are you loco in the cocoa? 
Can I please have more of that mushy stuff, whatever it was? Certainly. And Mr. Spike, mm. you like gemstones, yes? Turquoise. Mm. <laughs> this here's Little Strongheart. And these are my friends, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. You! You! That's it! We are out of here! <laughs> Wait! Please accept my apologies for what happened on the train. We didn't mean for anyone to be hurt. Yeah, right. We only wanted the tree. The settler ponies have overtaken the land and have planted an orchard all over it. Because of their thoughtlessness, we can no longer run over our traditional stampeding grounds. Huh? I think it's time they met Chief Thunderhooves. We have a long and winding stampeding trail that we have run upon for many generations. My father stampeded upon these grounds, and his father before him, 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 and... Father before him, and... I think they get the idea, Chief. <laughs> it is a sacred tradition to run the path every year, but this year, these settler ponies, these... <laughs> Apple loosens. They planted apple trees all over it without asking our permission. Well, that's not very nice, right, Rainbow Dash? <clears throat> the ponies refuse to move their trees, so we are stuck here, and it is not fair. See, Rainbow Dash? They had a good reason to. <gasps> <gasps> I'll say they had a good reason. Come on. We have some apple-picking apple loosens to talk to. <laughs> Gently, please. Sorry, Rarity, but our friends are out there, and we have to be ready for a long hike into Buffalo territory if we're going to save them. Let's go! <gasps> Hi, guys! Pinky! <laughs> We're so glad you're safe. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, yeah. goodness, oh, we got my... How did you escape from the buffalo? We didn't. <gasps> we promised the buffalo a chance to talk. Oh, yeah? About what? We brought our new pal, Little Strongheart, here to explain to the Appaloosans why they should move the apple trees off buffalo land. That information will be quite helpful. That's weird, because my cousin Brayburn here wants to explain to the buffalo why they should let the apple trees stay. That would be a useful thing to... The land is theirs. You planted the trees not knowing that. Honest mistake. Now you just gotta move them, that's all. Well... <laughs> they busted their rumps here, and now they're supposed to bust their rumps again just because some buffalo won't stampede someplace else? Plant the trees somewhere else. Where? It's the only flat land around these parts. The buffalo had it first. The settler ponies need it to live. Come on, Applejack. You're being I'm unreasonable. My hook down. You go. Look. Both the settlers and the buffalo have good reasons to use this land. There must be something we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. We may be divided, but of you all I beg to remember we're all hoofed at the end of each leg. No matter what the issue, come from wherever you please. All this fighting gets you nothing but huff and mouth disease. Arguing's not the way. Hey, come out and play! It's a shiny new day. So what do you say? You gotta share. You gotta care. It's the right thing to do. You gotta share. You gotta care. And there'll always be a way through. Both our diets, I should mention, are completely vegetarian. We all eat hay and oats. Why be at each other's throat? You gotta share. You gotta care. It's the right thing to do. And there'll always be a way Song. You're right on! It appears that Sheriff Silverstar and I have come to an agreement. We have. 
That was the worst performance we've ever seen. <laughs> Have dimly. The time for action is upon us. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow. And if the orchard is still there, we'll flatten it and the whole town. <gasps> but Chief! And we Appaloosans say you'd better bring your best, cause we'll be ready and waiting. But Sheriff! <laughs> Wasn't the message of my song at all. I want my kin to have what they need to live, but a storm's a brewing here, and I don't like the look of it. We've just got to talk some sense into them before some pony gets hurt. Listen, maybe if you would just reconsider, we. About the trees. Now, if you just. <gasps> We could just sit down and talk. We could. <gasps> Why won't anybody be rational and reasonable? Sheriff, if we could only. some way to stop this? Unless the settlers remove those trees? I do not think so. <sighs> I know you don't want to do this. But they have taken our land. What would you have me do, Rainbow Dash? I don't know. But it's never too late to think of something. At noon, it will be too late. He's not gonna do it. Hmm. Say, you gotta share, you gotta care. It's the right thing to do. You gotta share. Sure. You gotta
Hey, I've got a much better idea. We will allow the apple orchard to stay in exchange for a share of its fruit. Most delicious apple pies. Turquoise any day of the week. Oh, Bloomberg, this is your special day. Mama's so proud of you. Dear Princess Celestia, friendship is a wondrous and powerful thing. Even the worst of enemies can become friends. You need understanding and compromise. You've got to share. You've got to care. Hey! 